Hey guys, John Richer. Walking outside doing a little walking vlog. I gotta get some exercise for my leg here. I mentioned this on my last vlog. What happened was the last, I don't know, couple of months or so, when I do a deep knee bend, like bend way down, like past a certain point, my knee would like kind of pop into place. And then when I come back up, I could feel like a little tension, like a tendon on the inside of my knee joint. And it would be pressure, it would feel like it would really hurt, but it doesn't, it, it would just pop back into place when I stood and stand up. So it was kind of like this sort of, it was getting louder and louder and louder. And I was very, very concerned about it. So I ran into a guy in the elevator and he asked me about my limp. He asked because I had, he said, oh, because I had the same thing. And he, I'm a physical trainer. So, and I told him what it was and he said, oh, that's this blah, 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 blah. And he said, I just had to have knee surgery on mine. And he pulled up his thing and he, for sure enough, he had a big old scar on his knee. And I found out that I was eating too much sodium. We were drinking these Topo Chico's, which were great for, for the desert, great for when we were living in the Mojave, because Topo Chico's have a very high sodium content. It's part of what makes them so delicious and bubbly. That sodium content in a desert is really, really useful when you're dehydrated. The sodium makes you retain water, so it allows your body to hold more water than it normally would, which is great when you're in a desert because your body's constantly evaporating water through its skin but over eight years long period of time it can be quite damaging so the Topo Chico's offset that we drank a lot of them I mean the large part of our budget was ordering Topo Chico's but when we got here well it's very humid in the summertime so I noticed that we were getting bloated and that's when we figured out we were having too much sodium we stopped consuming the Topo Chico's and almost within a day or two uh, I started deep bloating. My face probably looks thinner to you now. I wasn't feeling that great either because what was happening is apparently when you get too much sodium, it inhibits the sodium potassium pump. Uh, potassium is the is the electron that makes your muscles contract. And sodium is a negative electron. It carries a charge as well. That's why they call it an electrolyte. The charge is kind of, what happens is when the potassium fills in to the, to the cell, it's replaced, the sodium comes out. If you have too much sodium or not enough potassium, then your muscles will fail to work. Now there are three types of muscles in your system, but, but, there's, but there's the kind like when we're contracting like this, and then there's a kind for your heart. And I think the other one is like an explosive, like jumping, jumping one, but I'm not sure. But the one for your heart, the, the heart one is the biggest concern. That if you don't have enough, enough potassium, then what happens is that your heart can't contract well and then you start getting weird heart irregularities and Jedi Joy experienced that with her bulimia okay she had very low potassium so low that her heart wasn't wasn't working right I mean she couldn't make it up the stairs and and she'd get really tired and have to lie on the couch and what we, we found out was that her heart was all messed up it was a heart something we call it heart apnea. We went to the doctor and they said, oh my gosh, you have such little potassium in your body. We're surprised that you're even alive right now. <laughs> I'm not kidding. And she didn't want to hear it. So she never went back to that doctor again because she knew what they were going to say. She was bulimic. So all they're going to do is what? Tell her to stop being bulimic, right? Well, duh. If she could do that, she wouldn't need the doctor. When women go to see the doctor, they're embarrassed to tell them that they're bulimic. So these women have been t telling their doctors all sorts of lies of why they don't have potassium in Joy's case Why she has no potassium in her blood and why it's so low. They have no idea. They just say holy shit How is this woman surviving? She didn't tell them they're believing but they just can't believe the readings that they were getting so that's why Societies had had such a hard time diagnosing diseases such as breast cancer They're the most common disease in women it's primarily because women are addicted to sugar. And that's not because they have babies, because there are some women who stay very thin after having babies. But women who keep eating lots of sugar and carbohydrates will get fat. As they got more and more addicted to sugar, they don't want to get fat. A lot of women, what they'll do is they'll vomit. And men too, but mostly women. 
Although we're seeing a lot more men on TV doing it now. So all the men you see on TV, like, I can name off a couple right off the top of my head that'll blow your mind. But it's very, very obvious. The first one that comes to my mind is Robert Hershebeck. Robert Hershebeck is so bulimic that his voice, year after year, has been getting more and more hoarse. I mean, if he keeps going at the rate he's going, by season 2025, he'll, he, won't, he won't be able to talk. He'll be like one of those dogs that had their vocal cords removed. He'll be like, I, uh, you know, I'd like to double that off. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Friend, all these women with these really sexy, sexy voices, you thought they were boy, you thought they were just born like that with this really raspy voice? No. What they do is they come over here and they'll eat all, they'll eat all this wonderful things that you see. Who else buys this stuff? This stuff's expensive, it's for rich people. But yet, how do rich people eat it and say that? It's not that they're born with a superior set of genes, it's just that they're lying to you. They have a secret. Is that they vomit. So I digress. Why I'm walking outside today is because I gotta give my knee some exercise because I popped it. And then, but now I'm limping so it hurts really bad. So what I found was one of the best purchases I've made. Well, actually I said not make it, my wife made it. But it, we felt it was a very expensive at the time, but now worth every penny. And I highly recommend it. It's the Volcano Hybrid Desktop Vaporizer from Stores and Bickle. Now, I've done vaporizers before, and I was never really impressed with what they did and what the experience was. I always felt that I wanted more of that smoke, I guess, more of what I was used to. Once you get past that whole idea of smoke, because the smoke is not natural for you to inhale, smoke is not something that the lungs are naturally able to bring in. That's why a bong works good, because a bong will put oxygen into the smoke, so it's mixture with oxygen and smoke, so it's not so harsh. Pure smoke will make you automatically reflex and cough, because your brain says, oh my gosh, there's pure smoke, and you've evolved to say, let's cough that out and plus let's let everybody know there's smoke here so you start coughing really loudly so the smoke was never a really good idea but so what they did was they would incorporate oxygen into the smoke that allows you to inhale it better well with the vaporizer there's no smoke there's no combustion it's just a pure vapor so you don't get that little harshness at the beginning that you're used to that makes you cough and so you're kind of like oh i don't feel anything but then in a couple minutes you're like oh wait it's the feeling you get after you're done coughing. That lasts all day. So you just, once you get over that, that, oh, I have to be hacking up a bunch of phlegm and smoke in order to really feel the weed, then you'll realize that you don't need that. So yeah, so the best purchase I made was that Stores and Bickle. And Stores and Bickle was uh, $6.99. I, I find them all over here in New York City. Um, they have a cheaper one for $4.79. It's not digital. I say spend the extra money, it's worth it. Because then you can really dial in the temperatures, you really get an idea of where you're at. Because the different temperatures will release different cannabinoids. So the hotter you get, what I find is you get more coughing, more of the smoke as you get closer to the combustion temperatures. But the lower temperatures are smoother and you can hold it in longer and you get more of that terpenes, more of the medicine. So it's really whatever you're in the mood for. It's one of the best things i found because it's super easy for cleanup. It solves the issue about having to be in places where they don't allow smoking in a hotel room because this is not smoke, it's vapor. I mean, they won't, it's not even an argument, they won't know because it's vapor. <laughs> it solves two major problems. It solves the first problem, the first problem being this, is that vaporizers never really had that enough of a punch in order to make it worth your while to do it. This one is not the case. It has super hot burning coils. So it heats up very quickly. And then when you, when you fire it up, it produces a ton of smoke. If you want it to, or it could produce less. But it gives you a ton of smoke. But it's not actually smoke. It's vapor. Now the gas is not smoke. So therefore you can use it in hotel rooms or places where they don't allow smoking. Now I gotta go upstairs because I was gonna do a blog up there and now she's all mad at me because I was mad at her because I needed some time to do my thing, which was this blog. So I'm glad I got it done, thank you.
me show the little shorties how you pump and dance. Not to death, I'm not impressed. I'm not amused, I'm not confused, I'm not to do. I'm a grown man business, I'm not in school. Put your hand down, youngin', this is not for you. I'm my jail, my deep with the Kanye, yo. My name on the market, you're name on the field. Your style fresh, like I'm still a day yo, and it's been like that since the day yo. On more time than a Rolex or Seiko. Step on deck, your neck, or do what I say so. Get, get up or get out, get down and lay down. Shadows, 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 shadows. Oh, I'm Jedi. Black Jedi. Let's move. Shout out to my man Kali Kwame. We on top. Shout out, shout out. Check it out. Check it out. Slim Jedi. Cast a big shadow. Cherokee red to shoot the long arrow. Got more skill, more aim, and more ammo. You can get it all from a big or small barrel, like Hail Mary, full of grace. Jedi, come and shoot up the place and make you pull up your face to death. I pull out the ace from the jungles of the Empire State where there ain't no escape. Four, seven. Seven, one, eight, and that's like every, every night, night, every day. From the place that I settle and sing to the state, so I'm collecting my pay. Last off, and I'm back in the cave. Hold it down for my family straight. Represent in a family way. Football, not for amateur play. Been raw since the amateur state. Before the press and the cameras raised. Like a long time out of the way, you want to stand in the street. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Excellence. And that's what it is, you see. 